Today we're going to demonstrate a unique technique. This is using uh, the Arthrex ACL Repair Tightrope as well as the Bear Implant. This is um, going to be a hybrid technique you're going to see here. So we're going to do a notch blasty first and this is the ACL tear. You can see this is a grade 2 tear. Um, we're going to debris again in the figure four position so the ACL is pulled away from the lateral wall and then we're going to use a freer this is a lot less sharp and less likely to cause damage to elevate the ACL off the PCL then here we're going to do a little more debridement of that stump to allow for healing potential and then we're going to microfracture the notch we see we do one microfracture hole in the area where we want to go with the trajectory and then here we're going to use the fiber rings. You've seen this before. These are 35 millimeter fiber rings. We're going to do one from the medial side, get the anterior medial bundle, and then one from the lateral side. This can help with suture management. It also helps with passing in different orientations, as you can see. You can see we have good tissue quality. We're pulling on this first. And here we've done the order differently. We've done the sutures first because we wanted to confirm the quality was good enough to do this technique. Following this, we're going to put the spade tip drill and you're going to see we're going to go all the way through and we're drilling approximately where we want the ACL to repair it back to. Then we're going to do the bowl guide and this is a 3.0 cannulated drill and then we're going to pull both of these through the passport. Following this we're going to engage both fiber rings and then we're going to engage them into the tight rope. You can see this on other videos in the steps. We're going to bring the button all the way to the lateral cortex, flip it, get an x-ray to confirm, and then in this case, before we finish the internal brace, we're going to tension the ACL back to the wall as much as possible. The key here is this is different from the regular ACL repair, is you do not want to put the internal brace in first because you're going to need to pass the bare implant. You can see we're retensioning as much as possible. We've taken out all the slack. We're holding that internal brace to make sure the button doesn't pull into the IT band. You can see the lockman shows it's completely returned. And now we're going to pull the internal brace out of the lateral portal. We're going to make our arthrotomy. Again, you want to do it first with a knife and then you want to dilate with a finger to make sure you can get the bare implant in. And then we're going to clean this with a shaver. And this is going to allow for easy passage of the implant. Following, we're going to take that passing stitch that we used and then we're going to pass the internal brace. And we're going to pull the internal brace immediately. Here we're going to completely dry the joint. Here we're using a Fraser tip. Following this, we're going to load the bear implant onto the internal brace. So the ACL is fully tightened, and now we're going to pass through. The key here with the internal brace is to pass both of the fiber tapes through the center of the implant. You do not want to come out here. We were a little bit wide, and now we're more centered. We're going to pull it through, and then we're going to repeat this again. We're going to get 20 cc's of whole blood, which is being taken while we're doing this. We're going to traction it all the way down to the joint, and then we're going to start to place the blood. You can see here it's starting to soften. When it starts to soften, you're ready to insert it into the knee. You don't want it fully softened as you won't be able to get it into the knee joint. Here we're going to go from the soft side in and the hard side I'm pushing on. And then we're going to extend the knee and bring it completely into the front of the joint right up to that femoral wall. And then we're going to engage the fiber tapes and this will secure the bare implant and finalize the internal brace in the knee. Here we final tighten it and then we're going to place a 4.75 swivel lock to finish off the internal brace. So now we have completed the ACL repair with the tie rope. We have the bare implant to accelerate healing as well. In addition, we have the internal brace. This is a newer technique and you can see in this case we can check the lockman because we've already tightened the ACL with the newer technique. Thank you.